What's going on today, Internet? Got another beer review for you today, and I had to restart so you don't get to see the opening and pouring action because it may be out of focus, but you might get to see it. If it's any good, I'll, I'll put it in. We'll just ignore this take. Uh, so what I'm going to be drinking tonight is Modern Times Ice. They're very good beers. And they are also somewhat effervescent, as you can see. Uh, what is Ice, you're probably asking yourself? Uh, ice is a Czech-style Pilsner. So kind of like what all your macro brewed beer now is, and Pilsner, that type of style, a nice clean bodied beer, nice and biscuity, easy to approach. Not necessarily a complex beer for quote unquote beer nerds. Now the problem with the Czech style Pilsner is a lot of people um, who are new into the craft beer scene tend to think, oh, well, if you're brewing a light style Czech Pilsner or, you know, a lager, you know, come on, we, we got into craft beer for the big beers, the overly hoppy, the big boozy stuff, the barrel aged monsters, that's what we got into it for, not this crap, right? No. Shame on you if you think that. Uh, Modern Times Ice is a nice example of a Czech style Pilsner. It's very approachable, very easy to drink, very light bodied, you know, just all around a good approachable beer. Look at the color in this thing. It is gorgeous. Nice, nice color. Let's go ahead and give this thing a taste. Cheers. Mm, that's so good. Uh, tonight we're drinking it out of the Modern Times glass. Now this is not the new Ice Pilsner glass. So, uh, sorry, those glasses are awesome, but they're really limited. And you have to go down to the brewery to pick them up and buy them, which is kind of a bummer because it's a far drive. And I love their beer, but long drive. Now, the reason we're doing this beer review inside, even though this is the perfect beer, like literally the perfect beer for a very warm day, we got a new dog and he's a little bit barky and excitable. Uh, so we're doing this inside to kind of let him adjust to the environment. Uh, he's socializing well with our other dogs, so that's a big plus. But uh, yeah, welcome him to the, uh, the homebrewed hero family. His name's Apollo. Pretty cool dog so far. All right, back to the beer. What is Czech style Pilsner? Czech style Pilsner is Czechoslovakian ingredients. Uh, typically you're gonna have Saz hops, you're going to have Pilsner malt, uh, nothing super fancy, but the biggest thing is the, the hop profile. A lot of these beers, they use uh, Czech Saz, and that's a really nice hop to give it a nice herbaceous flavor. The little bit of lemon in there, just a hair, but not enough to overpower like a big uh, citrus forward hop for an IPA. It's a very light hop profile very light grain profile. Now the reason I get excited about Pilsners, and especially for craft breweries to do them, is it's hard to hide any flaws in your beer when you have a beer that is just so stripped down and such a clean, bright thing. And When you have a big hoppy beer or barrel aged beer, you can hide a fair amount of flaws in it. With a beer this light, you can't. There's just really nowhere for any flaws or anything that's off in fermentation to hide because it's so light. Very light beer. Uh, and as I said, this is a lager. Pilsners are lagered. So you can take it to a ball game. <laughs> okay, now you're probably asking, what's the difference between a lager and an ale? Well, a lager is a cold fermented beer. Uh, and when it's a cold fermented beer, the uh, yeast is going to settle out or be more noticeable in the uh, wort down at the bottom of the fermentation vessel, whereas an ale is going to be more distributed towards the top. Now, when you ferment, the uh, yeast goes everywhere through the vessel, so that's a really basic and rough understanding. Now, lagers are always going to have a very crisp and clean, distinct taste. Now, with ales, you can get all types of um, esters and phenols uh, in there to give the finished beer a specific character. So, ale yeast is a little bit more versatile than lager yeast, and there's actually some ale yeast that you can lager basically that's tolerable down to lagering temperatures so those lines of ale yeast and lager yeast are kind of uh, kind of blurring nowadays but I digress um, so here we go cheers uh, modern times ice is such a good beer very clean um, nice earthy character very subtle but like a grassy lemon character with just a little bit of dash of like biscuit and dough in there. And that's what you want from a, a, a beer like this. And then, and then corn. Corn is the other big flavor in this beer. And for a Czech style pills, you do want corn in that. That's actually part of what gives the beer its amazing character. Definitely a solid beer. If you pick this up, it's pretty cheap. I think this is $10 a four pack, I think. Maybe eight, $8.99, depending on where you shop or anywhere from $9.99, $8.99, somewhere around there. Not a bad deal. Nice and light beer, 4.8% alcohol by volume, very low on the uh, the IBUs, obviously, for being a uh, Czech-style pills, it needs to be nice and light. All right, so that's Modern Times Ice, very nice, refreshing beer, very solid. If I had to give this beer a score on a scale of 1 to 10, 
Uh, this beer is a solid seven and a half for me, seven, seven, five. Um, solid C, maybe going towards C plus. Um, for the style though, dude, for me, for the style, this is up there with Bottle Logic's Polarity Pills, and they haven't done that in a while, and it makes me very sad. So if anybody from Bottle Logic is watching this, bring that beer back now. I'm kidding. Brew it again. It's very good. Um, for the style, though, if I had to just go based off of style, off of every Pilsner I've had, this is easily a nine. But um, overall, for different beer styles, it's a solid seven and a half, seven, seven, five, somewhere around there. All right, and that's going to do it for me. If you guys found this video informative or funny or useful or anything like that, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more beer-related content. Uh, as always, this is Chris. Thanks for your continued support. Have a great night. Cheers, guys. Enjoy.